Good morning, Zampark. Ah, oh, I didn't like that one. Do you want me to do it again? We've not done a podcast for so long and you, you just come at me with, Good morning, Zampark. Hold on, hold on. Let me do it. <clears throat> Good morning, Zampark. That's better. Good morning, Zompak. I'm Bex, that was Mark, and we are GMZ, the GMZ, podcast. The podcast. Remember when we used to do podcasts, Bex? Yeah, and remember what started the whole fucking thing off was a podcast. And... In, the, in the old days. But you know what, right? Um, going straight off tangent almost immediately as we started yep. the podcast. The re- one of the reasons that podcasts, we haven't been podcasting, one of the reasons that I haven't been feeling podcasts recently is that everybody in the universe has a podcast you turn on the telly you can't watch a program because there's a podcast coming up after it you got you know you 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 open an app and there's a podcast oh link to this podcast link to that podcast everybody's got a podcast for everything you know it's like we we led the way and people have followed us in their droves and now i feel like you know we're 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 in with the cool kids and that's not where i want to be are you saying we were like trailblazing the podcast scenario? We were, we were scenario? trailblazing, and it's it's the same within our little community, isn't it? You know the the zombie um, community, the zombie book community, because we're not the only ones with a podcast now. We're, we was one no. of we was one of the few, and now everybody's got a podcast. And I feel like there's you know originality is hard to find, isn't it? You know, it's, it, and I feel like some of our originality has been melted away by the. By the you know the 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 the, the hangers on, um, I'm sure that the hangers on. I'm sure they appreciate being called that. The hangers on, the, you know, the, the, they've melted away some of the originality, some of the some of the you know the humour and the originality of it all. And, and I think well, that... you've just got to think that these people they haven't got a mark in a bex for one. Yeah, that's true. And they haven't got all the swearing. Yeah. yeah. And they've also not got a super cool convention coming up. That that's very true. I like it, Vex. See what you did. That you haven't lost your touch. I'm have feeling you? optimistic tonight. Off I went into a miserable rant about the world of. I'm used black to your miserable comp ways. And, and then you just sort of sideswipe me back into marketing. That's yeah. it. That's how you do it. You see, that's how the TV programs do it. That's how the radio shows do it. You 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 hook them in with some interesting debate, but you don't get into it. You don't know that would be foolish. That's too much. What you have to do is sideswipe and into selling them something. So what yeah. we're gonna <laughs> that's what we do that's what we do so that's what we're we gonna do. do we're gonna flog you gmz live tickets because bex and i are doing a live show gmz live 2019 <laughs> that's Ooh, I know, a, i'm gonna add a cloud in we can add that and post production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got loads of like sound bites, haven't you? Yeah. I've had people going, woo! Woo! And then we can, <laughs> yeah, we can do that. And then we can do like a chicka chicka chawa, chicka chicka chawa, like that. I know, it's not like a early 90s porn. Yeah, we can. We could do chicka chicka chawa, chicka chicka wah. Ooh, that's a big spanner, Mr. Plower. Yeah. <laughs> I seem to be having some problems with my pipes. <laughs> Oh man, I was going to carry that on. That was my uh, '90s porn voice. That was very, very good. Um, was porn <laughs> big in the '90s? I don't remember it being big in the '90s. I, I can't remember. I was like three when the '90s started happening. Yeah, the '90s was my period because I'm forty something, and the '90s was when I was a kid. And I don't remember a lot of porn because I was too busy being being a teenager. And you know, you, you sort of, I, I know you, you, you're busy be, be having fun and enjoying life. Um, so you didn't like find any in the bushes. I heard, no. uh, I, I listened to a podcast the other day actually, yep. who were talking about people finding porn in bushes, like back before internet porn was yeah. a thing. That was the 80s, um, yeah. We found loads of porn in the bushes. It was yeah, oh, was that the 80s? That but am I just. 80s. Yeah, late 80s um, and the late 70s, that, that was where you found your porn was in the bushes. In a bush. It was weird because you could be over a park, like a normal park, and then you'd be walking along with your friends and there was just porn in the bushes. Um, but obviously, we are talking about the eighties when paedophiles were rampant. They were everywhere. You used to they were of... hiding in the bushes, not content with their kids, just watching the <laughs> magazine yeah. of porn. It was like and leaving in, it there. You know, in the old days in, in North America, where they had herds of buffalo. We had in England in the eighties. We had herds of pedos <laughs> um, near the parks, and we used to stand atop of, atop the, the big slide on top of the big slide and go look. As far as the eye can see, pedos everywhere. Um, <laughs> in their trench coats. In their trench coats, in the bushes with their paw. <laughs> and, that, 
with <laughs> <laughs> <The> binoculars. <laughs> with the binoculars, yeah. And they used to run away with a little Benny Hill noise. Like that, when you chase them, because that was the life. Why would you chase a paedophile? Surely that's dangerous. Oh, well, I, I grew up in some rough estates. They, they, you, you had to be brave to be a pedo. We're not I scared lived. of the pedos. The pedos are scared of us. You had to be tough to be a pedo where I lived. I swear, <laughs> you know, it was... It was, there were some tough people. Not me, obviously. Not, not. I wasn't one of them. But I saw some, and you know, they were rough, rough as fuck. <laughs> anyway, what was we talking about? GMT Live. Oh, we have just got so far off this topic that I yeah. don't know what we're talking about. Do you remember when we used to talk about zombies and stuff? That used to be a hot topic. A hot it did. Topic. Um, ha- have you, have you, you know, bit delved into the the realm of zombies recently, Bex? Have you watched any movies? Uh, read any new books? Have you, you know, have you done anything zombie related recently? Do you know what? I've really not. No. Good. And that's, I know that's awful, isn't it? Like considering I used to be pretty upfront with the whole zombie scenarios and the yeah. genre. Um, no, recently, last couple of months or so. I can't think of the last zombie film I actually watched. Um, Oh, no, I do. I watched Zombieland last week. Oh, Zombieland. I I saw this list in The Guardian. The Guardian newspaper did a list of um, zombie movies ranked. It was was the world's worst list. Yeah, it was an article in The Guardian by Peter Bradshaw. And I'm going to name him because he's a cunt. Um, And I've got the 20 list there. Um, and some of them I've heard of, some of them I haven't. Some of them, I mean, Paranorman is on the list. I like the film Paranorman, but surely there's ones that shouldn't be on. You know, it's a kids. You film can't lump anime. a kids TV, a kids movie in with some of the best zombie yeah. films that have been ever uh, been and, made. And let's scroll to the end of the list. Um, obviously, Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, one and two. Okay, I understand that. You know, mm-hmm. the Romero movies, classics, get it. Um, uh, number three, I Walked with a Zombie. This is the 1943 classic um and i realize it's a classic it's an old-fashioned you know probably one of the first zombie films and all that but it doesn't deserve to be number three um shawn of the dead is number five and number six is one cut of the dead now one cut of the dead is the the recent japanese film made this year where they made it in one take yeah it's a low budget movie you've probably seen it doing the rounds it's a low budget movie they did it all it all in one take the whole movie and it's a very clever idea it's very well executed but number six just below short of the dead um and there's no train to busan in this list no, and that should definitely be really high up on that list. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm slightly concerned about this list. It's not the best list that I've ever seen, really. I don't, you know, I I think we should do um, maybe the next episode. We should do the GMZ top twenty ranked zombie movies. We'll get the group yeah. to rank them, and we shall um, we shall challenge Mister what's his name Peter Bradshaw to a duel. Um, a zombie fiction jewel. A zombie fiction jewel. And we'll say to him that we have a better idea than old Mr. Fucking... I've seen, I've got a picture of his face here, Peter Bradshaw. And does I don't, he look like a cotton? He does. He really does. I don't think he's ever watched a zombie film in his life. He probably just Googled yeah. some films, looked at IMDb, a list. saw what was high ranking on IMDb and shoved them in a list because he gets paid to do that shit. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to do top 20 ranked zombie movies next Yeah, let's out. put a poll on the group and we'll... We, we shall call Peter Bradshaw a cunt many more times before the end of yep. this podcast. For doing this fucking stupid list. <laughs> anyway, GMZ Live is in Manchester. Do we know when it is in Manchester? Bex, do you remember the date? Is it the 24th of August? No, it's not. You're going to no. be too early. 25th of August. Sunday the 25th of August, the day That's before the, the bank holiday. It's over Pride weekend in Manchester. So if you happen to be um, there celebrating Pride, then please buy a ticket. Come along to GMZ Live also. be a great evening. Um, what we do at these things, um, what we did last year, was generally have some panels. Um, yeah. you know, had some guest authors, some special guests come along, and we have a bit of a laugh, a bit of a joke. You get to meet some of the best people in horror and zombie fiction. You get to meet Bex and I. We'll be presenting it. We'll be getting very, very bladdered and um, just genuinely having a laugh, won't we, Bex? Yeah, like last year. Like last year. Do you... It was good fun. It was good fun last year. There was... Um... There was lots of shenanigans. But there were also some really good people there. There's some good authors, and we're hmm. it's going to top it. We're going to top it this year. We're going to top it or top ourselves. Top um, ourselves. Top it or top ourselves. That is the challenge 
for this year. Um, do you remember who's coming back? Do you remember who's on our list of special guests? Um, I do. Don't do them in any particular order because you know what they're like. They can be divas. And I don't want a phone call from one of our special guests saying, why did Bex mention me first or not mention me first? Um, so, don't, you know, no particular order. Who's coming? No particular. Should I do it alphabetically then? However you want to do it. I, Hang I, on, let me I'm just figure out who's, who's do you remember first remember your alphabet? ABCs? Just... <laughs> Just power. <laughs> Abatha da Abatha. Abatha. Yeah, I'm doing the phonic Abatha. alphabet. <laughs> it's the Essex phonic alphabet. <laughs> we just complete. We don't have H. We just we miss it out. Abatha. <laughs> Right. All right. Anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read my list. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna read my list. So, in alphabetical order, mm-hmm. to make it fair, mm-hmm. the first re- while well, she's a returning guest is Claire C. Riley, the absolutely wonderful Claire, Claire C. C. Riley. Um, uh, and Claire C. Riley likes to make the classic joke. That's what she said. Yes. Um, <laughs> that is one of my highlights from so, last year. So, That's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, and, and she says it at the most brilliant moment. She does. She's a she's a wonderful um, author, um, a sparkling comedienne. Although she wouldn't say that she is, because that's not her job at all. She's actually an author. No. But <laughs> but I'm calling her a wonderful comedienne. She's well known for writing the Odium series, I believe. Yeah, but she's been doing other things recently since mm. the last Odium book. Mm-hmm. So she's kind of distanced herself a little bit from the zombie apocalypse genre, but that doesn't matter. We still love her. Mm. We're still going to have Richie MC live. Absolutely. And and who else is coming back? Uh, Ricky Fleet. Ricky Fleet, smelly guy, feet. The nicest guy in zombie fiction. He <laughs> tolerates your bullshit. So I don't know how. I don't know how. To be fair, he's such a nice person, and I don't know how he tolerates me. I don't know how most people tolerate me, but. Uh, I'm very lucky. It's only because I'm like 230 miles away from you. I, and I think what it is, because you tolerate me, other people feel that they have to tolerate me for fear that you might beat the crap out of them. Because <laughs> I think that's... No, I, I let them not tolerate you. Oh, it's fine. Oh, okay. okay. Right. So Ricky Fleet, um, obviously he's well known for writing... Um, He's a Hellspawn series, yeah. And he's been doing sort of slightly more sci-fi stuff recently. Yeah, so. again, another one who's kind of stepped away from the, the zombie apocalypse thing. Although his new book, uh, Devoured World, it is still a little bit along the lines of zombie-ish Sort of post-apocalyptic fiction. stuff, yeah. It's more post-apocalyptic, but the the, the kind of monster things in the, in the book mm-hmm. are a little bit like zombies. So we can forgive him that. Sure. Anybody else coming? Uh, oh, what's next? I'm, oh, I'm going to have to do my A, B, C, D. Oh, the next one is David McCluskey. Now, he wasn't there last year. He was. Was he? Yes. Oh, shit, he was. <laughs> he was. He was sitting next to you. <laughs> he was. Cut that bit out. <laughs> he was a late addition, though. He was. He was. And he came along and he brought loads of freebies. And he was wonderful. He did. Yeah. He's uh, a wonderful man. So David McCluskey is is an actual comedian, by the way. So he is an actual comedian. He's a very funny guy. He is. Um, so he does stand-up comedy. Um, he writes lots. He has lots of books out. He's always got something out that's interesting and funny. Um, he recently did um, Z or Z, a love story, which is a zombie love story romance thing, which was really good. We did a book launch for that, which was great. We did. Um, um, his book Crack is really highly rated on uh, Amazon, I believe. It um, was great, that book. I couldn't put it down. What's that new thing he's doing? He's doing a new book, I believe. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, and I'm still a bit confused as to what it's about, judging by the title, but it's called... Mm. You wait, I need to take a breath. <sighs> Mutant superhero, zombie-killing, disco cheerleaders from outer space with Uzis. Well, you don't want to miss that last bit, do you? Because that could really turn the that plot around. That could fuck up the, up the book. Yeah. You need to remember the Uzis. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, well, this book was good, but you know what is missing? Uzis. It's fucking Uzis. Yeah. So, no, that's brilliant. <laughs> so, a mutant z- superhero zombie killing disco <laughs> cheerleaders <laughs> from out of space with Uzis. Yeah. yeah. I'm really looking forward to reading it. I don't... Yeah. I, I can't quite think what 
which bit is going to be the best bit? Is it going to be the, the mutant cheerleaders or the zombie killing or the fact that they're going to be doing disco dances? I don't know. No, but it's all good. It's all good. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Dave is a really nice guy, one of the nicest guys, and obviously he is a very talented man. Um, he's done all sorts. He's made films, he's made books, he's done graphic novels. Um, so, yeah, very talented guy. I'm really, really pleased to have him there. Um, anybody else coming? Yes. Who the else? next guest that I need to tell you about is the one and only Peter McKinnon. Never heard of him either. Who is the he? The writing and filmmaking machine. Oh, that one. Yeah, Dead Town. That one. This town. Woo. Dead Town. Yes. Um, so he, Dead Town. So Deaf in a Northern Town. The author of Deaf in a Northern Town. Quacky Slasher. And filmmaker, writer, everything. Um, so He just does a bit of everything. Does a bit of everything. He's going to show a bit of his, because he's working on films at the moment, he's working on an anthology uh, film series, which is really cool. So he's going to do some, uh, he's going to show some exclusive footage just for us. So yes. we're going to see it. Micro Killers. Micro Killers is what it's called, yeah. Um, a lot of it he's like right, written and directed it as well. So it's going to have its really awesome Peter McKinnon stamp on it, which I'm looking forward to. I'm actually really looking forward to watching that at GMZ Live, to be fair. the um, A lot of the authors involved with GMZ Live are also involved with Micro Killers. So David, yes. Claire, um, so there's lots of... And, and the next one you're going to mention is also involved with it. So there's, you know, there's lots of collaboration between these guys. You know, they're all really friendly. They all really get on. So we're looking forward to it. Mm. And then last but not least, just because his name's last on the alphabet, mm. again, he wasn't there last year. Definitely, he 100%. definitely wasn't there last year. He definitely year. was not there. Hundred percent. He was year. not there. Uh, Matt Shaw, the guy who writes all the extreme horror books that I've, I've read quite a lot of them. Mm. But he has wrote um, quite a lot. So I think you'd have to really. Go some you can't not scroll Amazon. If you type his name in, just so many books come up, it's ridiculous. Yeah, he's a machine. He's literally a writing machine. And not only is he a writing machine, he's a very talented guy. Um, he comes across on social media as a bit bit of a git, you know, but yeah. that's that's part of his persona because in, in, in real life, you know, when you speak to him, he's a really he's nice... Right genuine guy um and he's very very talented he's made um lots of films um the, I, one of the reasons he didn't come last year because they was working on monster um the yeah. film um that you can see on amazon i believe i think you can see it there um it, which again is a really incredible film um and yeah so he's been working on lots of movies he's always working on new films um and yeah another talented guy yeah i can't wait for that one didn't he do a picture book he did do a picture book called All the Ways I Think You're a Cunt. <laughs> did you buy which it? Which is obviously my favourite book. Did you buy it? Have you got a copy? I've not, actually. Oh, you, well, I think you should get that. Yeah. I'm going to get it for you for your birthday. Oh, that's wonderful. It'd just be pictures of me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, let's recap. That's Claire C. Riley, uh, mm -hmm. Ricky Fleet, Peter McKeon, and Matt Shaw, David McCluskey. Um, yeah. There are going to be a couple of other people there. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of wind talks with a couple of other people, aren't yeah, we? Which we're, we're not going to say yet, just in case. Yeah, but there are going to be one or two other guests who will be coming along as well as sort of add-ons to these guys. But these these are the, the main hardcore group. Um, but then we're also in cahoots with All Things Zombie, the, the massive zombie group on Facebook. They're supporting us as well, aren't they? They are. So um, obviously the, the Facebook group for Claire C. Riley, which is Riley's Rebels, um, we're in obviously cahoots with those. All Things Zombie, the Facebook group, we're in cahoots with those. And what we're hoping to do is to um, live, not live stream the whole thing, but record the whole thing and then share it with all these different facebook groups so all of you guys who can't be there you can you know watch the fun and, and have a laugh and you know just cry over the fact that you weren't there yeah and there will Into be lots of, of tea? cocktails i believe if anything yes. like last year was to go by um, last year was just off the hook we pretty much emptied their bar of exotic cocktails <laughs> as we went through their book of cocktails and ordered everything yeah. it was just like we'll have three of those and seven of those yeah. and just it was a good night we got i mean apart from um obviously meeting the authors which was lovely um we got to meet a lot of people in the community um and that was really you know positive you know people that we've spoke to online um people who came up to us and said you know thanks for the last couple of years um and that was lovely did you find yeah, that it was good yeah it was and it was it was really nice to put kind of faces to names as well because you yeah. talk to these people online yeah and like i'm a pretty socially awkward person so mm. you know going to things like that it just terrifies the shit out of me but it's almost like i knew them yeah agreed before 
we went so it was it was okay it was all good yeah it was all good and um some of these people went on their own and they're, they're they were socially awkward like us so there was you know very nervous very quiet and they would sort of make their way over to us quite quietly and say hi i'm so and so you know i'm this person on facebook oh, yeah and thanks for doing what you've been doing with gmc and that's you know that's a lovely lovely feeling to think that this is our hobby we do it for a laugh and we know that not many people listen and we know that there's not many people um you know who who there's a hardcore group but it's not you know worldwide and it's really nice to think that what we're doing is a positive thing um and it really uplifts you and think well you know it's a worthwhile hobby if you're actually making someone's life a little bit better if only it's a handful of people and you're making their life only a little bit better it's still worth doing yeah you just you fuck my life up <laughs> Anyway, Bex, um, so that's GMZ Live. You can still buy tickets. You can buy them on Eventbrite or you can buy them via Facebook. Um, the- yeah, we have a Facebook uh, event set up for it. So if you just kind of type in GMZ Live onto the Facebook search bar, it should come up. It should come up. And if you go to uh, Google and just type in GMZ Live 2019, you'll the first hit is that is the web page where you can buy tickets. So, oh, with uh, the first hit. You can indeed. Um, and then um, I want to tell you about something that I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or not doing, as Jocelyn keeps telling us. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So um, Jocelyn Dex, who wrote um, the Zombie Ate My Panties books, um, who we who we sort of serialised on the podcast, didn't we? We did. Um, we should read her second book. We should, we should. Um, but we, Jocelyn and I decided to get together and write a book um, for no particular reason, other than I just thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, because a lot of the zombie authors have gone into sci-fi um, and a lot of the zombie authors have gone into sort of erotica, right? Mm-hmm. So these the, the sort of people have spread their wings and moved around. And, and, and I get it. They're kind of links. Yeah. So um, I said, let's make an erotic sci-fi zombie book. Um, and I came up with the name Space, um, SpaceX and Zombies. And we've kind of we've made a book out of it so um although we haven't finished it yet because i haven't wrote my chapter this week um so um i will be writing it this week and jocelyn will be getting it and um then we'll finish the book but it it, it, you'll be getting it if you don't write that fucking chapter i know i will but it it should be finished um by the first draft by the end of july i would have thought it would probably be done by the end of the summer um it's going to be a good fun book it's actually i i you know i i'm one of the authors so i don't want to speak too highly of it because it's mine but it actually makes me laugh out loud when i read it especially the bit i am so looking forward to it yeah i, I honestly can't <laughs> i cannot wait to read the the brainchild of you and jocelyn it's just going to be amazing it's bonkers it's sort of it's perverted in a really bizarre way i mean there's obviously lots of sex in it, hence the title. There's lots mm-hmm. of space in it and spaceships and stuff. So th- th- this is how it splits up. Jocelyn does all the sexy bits. Yeah, I do you're awkward. I do all the nerdy bits with the spaceships and stuff. <laughs> and then we both kind of do the zombie bits. So that, <laughs> that's, how, that's how our responsibilities that's how it's set are out. shared. Yeah. So if you're reading it and there's some weird sexy bit, that wasn't mine. That was. It Jocelyn. wasn't you, it was just Jocelyn. Yeah, Jocelyn is hilarious. Actually, she is a very, very talented author. Um, and I can't speak highly enough of how talented and professional she is. Um, and I think the book's going to... I don't think it's going to be a bestseller. Actually, we're going to put on the blurb, don't buy this book. <laughs> because Cause it's it's shit unless you kind of know us yeah exactly. and understand what we're trying to do i think if you understand gmz if you understand the type of humor that we have in the zombie community i think you'll love it i think if you're just a stranger picking this book up you're gonna think what you're the fuck is this shit yeah um and I, you know that that to me is cool we're not doing it to make money we're doing it because we want to it's fun yeah yeah and that's the that's the the best thing about it yeah it's just fun 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 have you got anything to share with us this week, Bex? I don't know. Nothing to share. I wasn't prepared for that. I had all my notes prepared about the authors, yep. but I've not actually got anything prepared about what the fuck I've been doing. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Um, I think we should get back with another podcast soon with our top 20 list to make sure that that toss pot of the Guardian um, updates. His... It's the Guardian as well. Like, y- Don't. Do you know what I mean? Don't like, get political. Who the fuck are the Guardian? Who the fuck are they? To say what... You know, zombie films are good. Yeah, they the fucking know. Guardian. They don't know, do they? Let's let them stick to their literature. It's like what they should be saying. What BBC Radio Four shows are the best or something? It's still the Archers. <laughs> 
That's the, the you know they can keep doing their list. The archer still comes up at number one. Okay. Again and again and again. Again and again and again. Yes. Um. So I think it's been fun to be back. It's good to be back. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. So we had a good evening. Other than the technical difficulties at the beginning, which were not fun. Oh, fucking technical difficulties. I know. It's the bane of your life, isn't it? I mean, just, we just always say every time we record, it just we always seem to have some kind of fucking technical difficulty. Do you know? Do you know when we didn't have technical difficulties? When we were when we were in the zombie apocalypse, that went smoothly. It did actually go really smoothly, considering we were meant to be in the zombie apocalypse. That went with very, no internet. That went very smoothly. Maybe we, we need to go back. <laughs> we just need to yeah simplify things. So yeah, that's what we need to do. Anyway, it's been good talking to you, Bex. And you. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> Thanks for popping in and we should be back with another podcast soon and we will start watching zombie films and reading zombie books and feeding back I suppose doing what we do best yeah we shall we shall um, we'll be back very shortly thank you for listening bye 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 <laughs>